We're getting the signal and God's frequency is telling us that it's time to change. We're moving into something new. There are seasons throughout the year and there are seasons throughout our lives. And we could look at everyday life examples, how we can't continue to do the same thing maybe throughout an entire year or throughout our entire lifespan. Your attention and energy has to go to the new and God is bringing forth the new right now. So you might be called in the upcoming weeks to really focus your attention, to really focus your energy to where it needs to go. It's time to grow the new. You know, when you think of real life examples like athletes throughout the year, an athlete does not do the same thing. You know, you could have a, a football player, you know, they, they kind of get beaten up throughout the year. It's really tough. And then they might take, you know, a few weeks, a month to really rest. Then they start weight training. They train differently in the off season. They have off, off season. Then they have the preseason and then they go into the season, right? So use that as a guide for your everyday life journey, you know, throughout our t time, whether it's in a year, whether it's through our entire life, we're not going to constantly do the same thing. And a lot of us, you know, we, we kind of get caught up. It's time to really bring forth something new. And God is sending us that signal right now. Are you receiving the signal? Uh, what I'm speaking right now, is it resonating with you? Are you called to move uh, into maybe a different chapter for your life? Uh, you know, when I think about bodybuilding and bodybuilders, uh, you know, it's great to train. Uh, we want to lift heavy. You want to work out hard but it's actually uh, not good to be like that 365 days out of the year. So, uh, you know, we have certain seasons, we have reasons uh, why we might go about training a certain way. And it is, you know, good to maybe take some time to rest, to allow the muscle to grow, if you will. So we have to do that in our spiritual work as well. And if, if you don't, you know, maybe focus your attention, your, your attention is going elsewhere. So on my journey, uh, you know, in the past few months, uh, I had to focus my attention to do certain things, you know, whether it was for my work, what, whether it is for, uh, my physical body and healing and growing and repairing, uh, all these things I'll, I'll be discussing as we move forward, uh, on this channel. So please hit the subscribe button. If uh, today's message is resonating with you and why don't you hit the like button as well? It helps others to get this message. You know, it's, it's, it's good to maybe train hard. It's good to do things at a hundred, hundred percent, but then it could be detrimental, uh, for your growth for the next phase. So as we go through the seasons and cycles, uh, it's time and we're called to really focus on what is new. We're going to allocate our energy to where we're going, right? So where we were, what we've done on our journey, uh, it's gotten us to this position right now, this year, this season, this time. And now we're going to allocate our energy. Now, where is this new direction? I call you, uh, to really, uh, feel it out and, uh, whether it's here or whether it's for your everyday life, the direction will be directed by God. You're going to see flow versus force. So you're going to see all of a sudden there's going to be an opening. There's going to be a cascade. Things are going to start flowing and that's God's signal to you. This is where you need to focus your attention. Okay. This is where it's going to carry you. Uh, it's, it's really important to be well-rounded. We do that on this channel. Uh, we even go on side quests on this channel. Uh, if you're new to the channel, really consider taking the journey with us. And you know what? There's so many aspects of everyday life. There's so much for us to break down, but as we go on our journey, you know, we, we, we're not going to do the same thing, uh, every single day forever. So there's uh, a time for this and a time for that. And now's a time to really harness your energy, focus on it, conserve your energy, maybe have to, uh, you know, pull back and on certain areas, uh, you might have to start 
uh, planning. Uh, on, on my overall journey, there was a time period where, you know, for example, I had to consume prior to starting uh, this channel and, and, and getting out there. I've shared this message before. You learn before you earn. Okay, so there's times where you have to learn, then you have to apply, then you have to change, then you have to go backwards, then you have to go forwards, you have to prune, things will be pruned from your life. Reassess, you know, uh, you might be doing something and, you know, think about the jobs you've had. Use, use, use the, uh, the matrix timeline, if you will. You know, you might have had this job, then it was time for this job, uh, you know, a couple of years there. Now, now you expand it outward. You know, listen to your soul. I was literally talking to someone. I met him for the first time uh, tonight. And, you know, he was saying, you know, what was meaningful uh, in the past. Um, now I'm called to do different things. And, and so many different aspects of life are important. It's about me. You know, he was sharing all this stuff. I said, you should check out my channel. I, th <laughs> I think it's uh, in lockstep with where uh, you're going and what you're feeling. So a lot of people, uh, they're feeling uh, changes, uh, call to change things in their life. And that is the signal that we're getting from God. Okay, so God is sending us a frequency. We're picking up the signal. We're picking up a, a new station right now. And you, you might be unsure. We're all kind of unsure. But that's why a lot of life is trial and error. And then if you apply the, the concept of flow versus force, when things, not everything is supposed to be hard, okay? Relationships, not supposed to be hard, supposed to flow. Job, not supposed to be hard, it's supposed to flow. Certain things, we try to uh, fit the, uh, the, the square peg in the uh, round hole, if you will. You're, you're fighting against the current. That's not for you. That The answer is it's not for you, all right? And over the next few weeks, we can't be burnt out. But we're going to sit with it. We're going to be meditative and it's going to be shown to you. It's going to, it's going to like, like, like the Red Sea is going to part. Okay. It's going to, it's going to open up and that's the calling. And you've been doing the work for quite some time, but this is a season right now. It's time to change. And, you know, we've been prepared for this change for a long time. You knew it was coming. And now it's time to take our leadership roles, our leadership positions. It's time to come together. Uh, you're going to see a lot of uh, collaborations going on. Great people are coming together around the world right now. Uh, if any of these uh, aspects are resonating with you, they might be playing out in your everyday life right now. Let us know in the comments. What will you be doing over the next few weeks? How are you going to conserve your energy? And how are you going to be focusing on the next step for your journey, okay? Because remember, uh, we're not gonna be constantly doing the same thing throughout our entire life or throughout uh, a year. It's always important, uh, okay, to, to really uh, focus on variety, focus on that there's a time, okay, maybe to work hard, there's a time where you can't get burnt out, you have to sit and you have to come up with ideas. And that's what Nikola Tesla did, all right? That's how he came up with all these great inventions. So whether it's inventions, whether it's art, whatever it is that you're working on, you're working on uh, maybe a video, you're working on a blog, now's the time to reassess. We're getting the frequency. We're called to do this right now. So if this message resonates with you, please hit the like button, subscribe to this channel. We're going on new adventures, kid. Are you ready for all these new adventures? We're going on new adventures. We have new quests. We have new friends. There are so many things coming up over the next few weeks, but how is this happening? It has to happen in the creative mind. It has to come from the sacred heart. And when you have that mind and heart connection, when you balance both sides, the hemi-sync, when you achieve all these things that we discuss on this channel and apply them to everyday life, that's how you're going to see great change. That's how you're going to see great improvements. And that's how you're going to start accomplishing things that nobody thought was possible for you. I love each and every one of you. Uh, we'll share a little bit more about this journey tonight. Hit the subscribe button. Come back for our live stream. And it's a very powerful uh, moment in time, in history. You know the power of this year. This is the 888 year abundance. You could hit 888 in the comments as well if you're bringing abundance into your everyday life. Abundance could come in many forms. It could be abundance of uh, friends, an abundance of love, an abundance of uh, opportunities. 
okay? An abundance of peace and quiet. It, it could be an abundance of whatever you uh, are called to experience in your life. God's frequency, the signal has come in. It's time to change. It's time to embrace your leadership role. The world will see the true you. Embrace the person that you came here to be.